Good afternoon, I am Federica Zambrosio and today we are going to review the account of one of our traders, Gittens. Let's have a look. Gittens joined our program on the 16th of October last year and hit his first 10% target um, on the end of December, the 30th of December. Very good. Very well done, Gittens, and congratulations for your first target achieved with us. Um, let's have a look at the equity line to see how the journey has been for Gittens. Mm. So we can see how uh, he, we can say how he, he held the balance uh, uh, until the beginning of uh, November. He was up two percent on his account. Then something happened, and in fact, we can see um, a decrease here. Um, yeah. By the 13th of November, he was down uh, 5 point, almost 6% on his account, but he uh, straight away recovered. We can see how nicely um, this curve um, become upward, um, yeah, become upward sloping. And uh, yeah, something happened here on the 18th of December. He went back almost to the initial account balance, but then it just went one way up towards his first 10% target. Okay, very good. Um, from the statistics, uh, we see an average daily return of 0.10%, a monthly average return of 3.11%, with a floating row down of 8.47%. And this is because of uh, what happened here, I believe, by mid-November. Okay, let's have a look at the statistics of the advanced statistics. So. We can see here 313 trades, 313 positions opened with a profitability rate of 49%. So slightly, slightly less than the other. But let's have a look at average win and loss to have a better idea. In fact, we can see here an average win of 33.42 pips and an average loss of minus 18 pips, minus 19, we can see. So, which is um, a quite is a, is a quite good uh, risk to reward ratio, not bad. Um, average win, uh, sorry, uh, best trade and worst trade. Let's have a look first uh, um, at uh, the best and worst trade in terms of dollars. So on the twenty three of December, he had his best trade. He gained three hundred and forty two dollars. And his worst trade was on January the 5th. So maybe this one is already with the new account. But anyways, we can mention that. He lost $211. So, uh, his best trade in terms of PIP was on the 3rd of December. He gained 139, almost 140 PIPs, we can see. While uh, his worst trade uh, on November the 11th, he lost 85 PIPs. So, so we are here, we can see how on November the 11th we are in line with, uh, uh, with actually what we saw here from his equity line. Okay, let's have a look at the summary to see on which pair he traded the most. So he didn't focus on all the Forex market. We can see how he opened 99 position here on the uh, pound dollar. He gained 1,743 pips, resulting in a profit of $1,070. Very good, very well done. Um, we can also see here 59 position opened on the pound yen. He gained 984 pips, resulting in $1,551 gained. Very good, very well done. Um, also here we see good numbers, 54 position opened on the Euro Yen, he gained $500 on this one. Let's also have a look at the negative side though, because we mentioned that. So we can see 32 negative position on the Euro Dollar, he lost 260 pips resulting in minus $687. Also what we can mention here. 10 trades uh, um, on uh, um, the Euro Aussie. He lost 216 pips, uh, resulting in $321 lost. And also here, six position opened on the Aussie Yen. He lost uh, um, roughly three, 300 pounds. Okay, let's have a look at the history as well. Let's go back to page one. 
sorry, page 60, when he first joined. Um, it was, yes, on the 16th of October. Uh, let's have a look at the lot size, 0 0.2, 0 0.25. So it didn't go full lot on uh, um, each and every trade he placed. He was keeping his lot size, uh, um, yeah, at around 0 0.2, 0 0.1 as well, we can see. Let's have a look also. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, good. Let's go back to the first page. No, because he's trading at the moment, of course. So here, on the 4th of January, when he hit his um, target, and now, of course, is uh, managing a $30,000 account with us. Okay. An average trade length of 6 hours and 45 minutes. So short term. Okay, and in fact, we can see how the majority of his position were held below 13 hours. Few of them held for longer, around one day, and just few of them actually held for longer than one day. And we can see it's two positive position, which is always something good to mention. But also here we can see from one day onwards, only two position held were negative. The rest of those were just positive position, which is very good, very well done. Okay, very good, Gittens, very well done. And we look forward to do the second review of your account now.